in the conference room. Manik was waiting for Nandini for the meeting but frowned looking at Ayan and he along with Nandini who was accompanied by a man. Manik, he is Rudra, he is cousin and is going to work with us. Manik nodded and greeted Rudra, but his eyes were fixed on Nandini. After the meeting was over, Manik couldn't help but jealous of seeing Nandini and Rudra laughing on something. As they were going out, Ayan said. After the meeting was over, Manik couldn't help but jealous of seeing Nandini and Rudra laughing on something. As they were going out, Ayan said. Nandini will you and Rudra go to check the site for the new project? I think it would be a good opportunity for him to get familiar with the work we do here. Nandini nodded, smiling at Rudra. Sure, I'd be happy to show him around, she said. Manik's eyes narrowed as he watched them leave. Why is he going with Nandini? Manik asked unable to hide his jealousy. Why, it's good na if Rudra is with Nandini, they can even spend some time with each other. Do you have any problem with it? Ayan spoke to enjoying Manik's expressions. Why would I have problem with him going with her? Manik said and left the cabin and Ayan smirked. Ayan, what's going on? Veer, Manik and Ayan Spa asked. Well, my idiot best friend has feelings for Nandini which he wouldn't agree so we have made a plan to know why he is marrying Navir. And seeing his jealousy, I don't think it would be hard for us, Ayan answered with a smirk on his face. Veer raised an eyebrow. And what do you plan to do now? He asked, curious about Ayan's plan. Ayan grinned mischievously. I know Manik will do anything but not let Nandini go with Rudra. We just have to sit back and watch the drama unfold, he said, his eyes gleaming with excitement. Meanwhile, Nandini and Rudra were walking around the construction site, discussing the details of the new project. Rudy, did you propose Mishka? No, but I'm going to do it on her birthday. Rudra answered and held Nandini's hands as he saw Manik who was watching them from outside. Manik watched as Rudra held Nandini's hand and felt a surge of emotions inside him. After some time, Nandini was waiting in the passenger seat when Manik came instead of Rudra and started the car. Without a word, Manik started driving, his eyes fixed on the road ahead. Nandini looked at him, confused. Manik, where's Rudra? she asked. Manik's grip on the steering wheel tightened at the mention of Rudra's name. He had to leave for some urgent work. So I'm accompanying you to the site. Nandu looked at him with blank but didn't say anything and continued using her phone. After driving for an hour, when they were near the village where they had to go, suddenly their car stopped. Manik came out to see what was wrong when he was surrounded by some people. What the hell? he muttered under his breath. A man pulled out a knife, pointing it at him. Hand over all your money and valuables, the man demanded, his voice cold and menacing. He quickly dodged the man's blade and punched him in the stomach with all his might. The man doubled over in pain as Manik kicked him away. He then ran towards two other men who were trying to attack Nandini and punched them both before they could even put up a fight. With one swift kick, Manik sent them sprawling on the ground. The remaining group of men backed away in fear as Manik advanced towards them, fists clenched and eyes blazing. Manik turned towards Nandini. Nandini, I don't think we can get any mechanic here, and it's not even safe to stay here, so we should find a place to stay for the night, he said, his voice calm but firm. Nandini nodded, following him back to the car. After driving for a few more minutes, they came across a cottage. 
Manik parked the car and got out, helping Nandini out as well. Do you think anyone lives here? Nandini asked, looking around at the deserted surroundings. Manik shrugged. We don't have any other options, Nandini. We will have to stay here for the night, he said, walking towards the cottage. He tried the door and to their surprise, it was unlocked. As they entered, Manik took in their surroundings. The cottage was small and cozy, with a fireplace on one side and a small kitchen on the other. We can start a fire and make some food, he said, taking off his jacket and throwing it on a chair. Nandini nodded, watching as Manik started the fire. As they waited for the food to cook, they sat in silence, both lost in their own thoughts. After some time, the food was ready and they sat down to eat. This is actually not bad, Nandini said, taking a bite of the food. Manik smiled at her and continued having food. They both lay down on the mattress and slept quickly being tired. Next morning Manik was the first one to get up. He was about to go out when his attention went towards Nandini's phone which was ringing. He walked over to the bed and saw that the caller ID read here. Hello here, Manik said answering the call. Oh, hi Manik. Can I talk to Nandini? Heer asked. Manik hesitated before answering, she's still sleeping. Do you want me to wake her up? Heer thought for a moment before replying, no, it's okay. Just tell her I called and that I'll talk to her later. Manik nodded, even though he couldn't see him, and hung up the phone. He turned to look at Nandini, who was still sleeping soundly. He watched her for a moment, taking in the way her hair cascaded down her shoulders and the peaceful expression on her face. He shook his head, trying to dispel the thoughts that were starting to form in his mind. Just then, Nandini stirred and Manik quickly went out before she could get up. In the room. Nando, are you and the baby fine? He asked when Nandini called her. Yeah, we're both fine. You have your medicine with you, right? Nandini nodded over the phone. Good, make sure you take them on time, he said, her voice filled with concern. Nandini smiled. Yes, Mother Hen. I know, she said, teasingly. He laughed. I can't help it. I just want you and the baby to be healthy, she said, her voice gentle. They talked for some more time and Nandini went to get ready. How was the update? Do you want Manik to get to know about the baby now or later?